North Carolina, where Donald Trump spoke, is an important stop for him. He won the state by just 1.4% in 2020. But Wednesday night, he spoke for more than an hour, giving some details on his economic plans. One new announcement that Trump made last night, saying the United States will commit to slashing energy and electricity prices. By contrast, I'm announcing today that under my leadership, the United States will commit to the ambitious goal of slashing energy and electricity prices by half, at least half. We intend to slash prices by half within 12 months at a maximum 18 months. And if it doesn't work out, you'll say, Oh, well, I voted for him. Trump said he would accomplish this with, quote, rapid approvals for new energy infrastructure, unlocking new lands for drilling and reduced regulations to make the U.S., quote, energy dominant. According to independent analysis firm the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the U.S. is already producing more crude oil than any other country in history. Trump also said he would accomplish this goal by not focusing too much on green energy projects. In a separate interview this week with local media in Wisconsin, Trump said, quote, the environmental stuff is ridiculous, it's taken over, and it's just crazy, end quote. Another economic issue he touched on last night, inflation and the cost of living, saying he would, quote, make America affordable again. Donald Trump said that among Latinos and African Americans during his administration, they saw the lowest poverty rates ever, and that's a partially true claim. At the time when Trump was president, unemployment and poverty rates for both groups hit record lows, but new record lows have since been achieved during the Biden administration. Trump also said, quote, her radical liberal policies have caused horrific inflation, decimated the middle class, and gutted the finances of millions and millions of American families. Real incomes are down by over $2,000 per year. Now, according to the Bureau of Economic Analysis, since President Biden took office, prices have increased 19.3%. This means the average family of four is paying an additional $17,000 and change per year, or about $1,400 per month to purchase the same goods and services as they did in January of 2021. But according to research firm Moody's Analytics, some of Trump's proposed economic policies, including higher tariffs, tax cuts that stimulate the economy, and tightening border security could actually fuel an uptick in, in inflation if Trump is elected. Trump also said he expects to hear Harris copying him when she presents her policy ideas in a speech on Friday. Today, Trump is slated to give another press conference from Bedminster, New Jersey. Alexa Liaco, Scripps News.